we all suck with follow-up, especially we as a realtor in the real estate industry, we struggle to follow up. And I am right now planning my follow-up campaign. And I thought I'd take you behind the scene. I started already, but then I thought, why not share it with everybody so that you can implement that into your business? I also take that and will create a guide so that everybody can implement it, the follow-up we are doing, especially on Facebook. So we are using Facebook to follow up and also have a quick win. That is most of the time the first campaign we are running when we are getting new realtors as a client, then we are doing this follow-up campaign to give them a quick win. And that means people are raising their hand and saying, hey, I am ready. I want to put my property on the, on the market or I'm ready to make the next step in buying and selling. And that comes most of the time with our follow-up campaign. So why not share it with you all so that you can implement it into your business? So what I mean, we are creating a custom audiences and that is in Facebook and I will guide you through and we are having seven follow-up campaigns for $1 a day. Yes, $1 a day. If you run this ads together, then you spend $7 a day on your advertising. And believe me, it works. And if you don't have to spend the sort of $7 a day, we would recommend at least to do three or four follow-up, stay top of mind, and then you can switch them out when the frequency gets a little bit too high. That's why I have all the boxes down here so that we can plan out and have our follow-up campaign ready. So the first thing what we are doing is we would go into our database, we upload every lead we are having and putting them on a CSV shield, a field where you have name, number, and email. And then we would upload that list into custom audiences. And we would, let me go and show it to you, where we are now going into audiences and would upload those audiences. And I show you exactly how you do it so that you can start your follow-up campaign. The magic leaks is not in pushing the button. The magic is what you put in into your advertising so that you speak to your people. And here is we create an audience and we create a custom audience. And then we would upload that customer list into Facebook and Facebook will look for everybody who is now in your list for phone number or email. And then you have your follow up campaign so not campaign your audience your follow audience so you have an email list you can do it by phone list so you can upload this into a list and that because they are coming from your crm this is actually already a warm audience those are people that know you already they are already in contact with you if you didn't buy those le those names or numbers from a third party place. So you want to be careful if you bought this, this would be a cold audience and that's where I would go different. But I am assuming you generated that lead or the leads on your list and they are warm, they know who you are and now we are putting them onto a custom audience. Now that we have those custom audiences, I am planning out my campaign where I want to follow up and put very strategic content in front of those audiences. And there I will go into my, hold on a second. I will go into my list and now I would do a follow up campaign. 
or I call it actually touch seven. And now I start creating the content or start creating, thinking about what I want to put in those seven touches. Here we are, we have touch one. And with touch one, we are usually reminding them who we are. If you are a realtor, you know about the who, when, what, and how. So what I want to do when they see that first follow-up, I want them to remind who I am and why they are here. So you could tell them very, very easy. Hey, it's Annette again, and I'm seeing you because I know you signed up. It's depending now where you get your leads from, if they sign up for a home guide, if they are a seller lead. And I would, uh, um, if you have a big database, I would do an audience for seller and I would do an audience for buyer. But if your audience list is not big enough, now you want to go a little bit general. So you could say, hey, it's me, Annette, and I know you signed up on my website, and I just want to see how you, not how you are, but I just want to uh, uh, remind you, I am still a realtor serving the area and here you watch this video because you signed up there. And then you want to maybe give them something helpful depending what they are. You, you could say, I'm serving the community and you know what? They just come out with something what may interest them and now tell them a little bit what came out. So that is my first touch, reminding them who I am and how I can help them, and why they are even seeing that video. You can make it also funny, say, hey, you signed up on my uh, website, and I know you did because you are seeing that video. If you don't remember me, my name is Anati Block. I am the Florida Connect, and I'm serving, serving Lauderdale by the Sea. And you may see me around on the beach or on the street because I am selling houses there or I assist my buyers to find the right property. Depending where you are in the process, don't worry about You will see more of me because you signed up on my website and I want to give you the best service I can give you. So if you have any questions, make sure you always can reach out to me. You have a button down below or if you want to message me, then simply message me or text me. So it's depending how you want to round up that conversation. Maybe they want to text you, maybe you want them in Messenger, or maybe you want them to take a different action. Always think about how you can help them and what they get out and um, how they can contact you. So the touch number two, now I would go a little bit deeper depending what they are. I would remind them uh, maybe uh, um, a community. Maybe they signed up for a certain community. Or now you give them a community tour in your area. So, and you could come on, hey, today I am here in Lauderdale by the Sea and they just finished up the beach cleanup. As you can see, we have all the snowbirds coming down during the winter and during the summertime. We are using that time to make our space nice and clean. And if you want to help with cleanup, then just let me know. I can connect you. Put me a message down below or mess DM me. So that is something what you can do where you introduce the community or what you do because now I'm showcasing them that I am a beach freak and I'm also liking my beach clean. And that is something where we are going a little bit in into green living or sustainable living. So depending what your community is all about and what you stand for. Remember the four C's I gave you in another video. The four C's is connection, credibility, 
conversion and conversation. So touch number three. I also want to showcase how great I do my job. And here I would put in a few testimonials. And you know what? That's why I'm always telling everybody, get your testimonials in video form, because now you can use these videos where your people that watch those videos, those are still follow-up videos, where they are now can see you in action, what other people see, say about you. They are trusting your videos more than if you make a screenshot of your Google because everybody can do the Google reviews just they can. But when they see how excited they are and how they tell the experience they had with you, now that is a much, much better touch point so that you have back there. Now in touch number four, you can go into and maybe you have an open house coming up or you can do an open home tour where you are now educate and become credible. Credible for the credible content where you now maybe switch in an open house or you do a home tour or whatever you want to do. Our touch number five will be, you know what? Now I'm taking a picture. I take a static image and maybe show them a house type. So let's say we have a lot of condos over here. Now I take a picture of this condo and now in that picture, I would maybe put text describe the condo community and maybe have a call to action if you want my community guide for that community. Let me know down below and then I have a sign up button or learn more button. Okay, touch number six. What we are doing with touch number six, we have the open house, we have this. Now, you know what? You could do a different testimonial because not everybody wants, likes to see videos. So now you can maybe take screenshots of your video, do a little description if you are a buyer or... seller and a call to action CTA and then we are doing touch seven we are doing another credibility educational video and what do I do there let's think so I have the reminder video the community area the testimonials open houses static image where I describe the, a certain community and then another testimonial screenshot. And you know what? We could do another credibility where we are explaining a little realtor jargon. So maybe explain what it means title search because that will come up when you sign a contract so now they know already what is a title search so that are the first seven videos so let me go back the first seven videos up here but sometimes they the frequency is a little bit higher some videos are a little bit better some are a little bit less better so you know your audience you will find out when they are watching your videos or reacting better to your to 
your um, starting images. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So now I have 13 touches. And now those are touches where we can go a little bit deeper. No, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So here we could go a little bit in conversion where you could tell them exactly what they can do uh, if they have any question, you are on a Zoom call from a certain time. So we are having Zoom calls and then you can direct them to the Zoom call. Because at the end of the day, we want to create conversations. So that is a great chance for a conversation. Now, then we have conversation, conversion. So that means conversion to a conversation. So from somebody who watches yours, you are going into a conversation. I want to do another credibility video. And now maybe I showcase another community and then I want conversations and maybe you have a listing where I showcase a listing and now it's a decision how you want to do it you can do it in a started image I would do it as a startup image, or you can do it as a quick video where you are showcasing the property. But we are leaving out the price and the address. Why? Because I want people to comment or I want them learn more where you can give them the information on a sheet. So you want to have always some call to action and think about how you can get them to talk to you. So conversation, you can say, hey, comment down below, and then you are pulling them over into Messenger and continue the conversation, or you tell them, hey, learn more, and then you have some kind of um, um, CTA, or you asking for an email or a phone number, that's a decision you have to make. Remember, not everybody maybe gave you the right phone number or the right email address where you can really reach them. So you are now touching different points. Then I want to have another testimonial maybe, or you know what, give more credibility and you have a business review. How about this? Yes, that is a crate where you now go into the community and maybe interview somebody and push that through where you are maybe in a restaurant or you don't have to interview the uh, restaurant, but you can give a review on that restaurant. You are just visiting. You could showcase the food and what you think about it and why people should go there. Some businesses even um, give little gift cards so if you have a good connection with your business owners ask them if they have a gift card to give away and you could give a gift card away when they are want to learn more or you even tell them so uh, i wouldn't tell them hey i have a gift card no you want to for them to do a little bit work because at the end of the day we want to go for conversation and we have credibility, connection. Maybe that is here a little bit more about me. So here I tell a little bit more about me, what I do. And I don't go too much into private life, but personal. Maybe what I stand for, what I like, what I dislike. So that is maybe something you could do. And then, you know what? We are doing another reminder video. Reminding them where we are saying, hey, you are on my list. And if 
you are still looking to uh, buy, I have that for you. Or if you are a seller, and I have this for you. So you want to uh, create something because the end of the and the end of the day with those touch seven or when you switch it out, or you even could do I thirteen if you have the money, if you have a great budget for follow up, then you even could go and do the um I thirteen follow ups. Why not? And uh, you always, your end goal is that somebody is raising their hand. That is your quick win. Somebody is raising their hand that they are ready to buy or sell now. That is how we want to structure everything. I want somebody to raise their hand. Hey, I'm here. I'm watching your videos and I know you can help me. That is designed for a quick win so that we are always filtering people out, but also at the same time that we continue to go through the pipeline. And if you always have new people come to in your pipeline and they are getting retargeted right away, you are sure that you are following up, even if you don't follow up in your CRM, because many are not watching or open the emails anymore. Now that assures you, you that your leads are in your pipeline and they see you over and over and over and over again. And at the end of the day, you are the last one who are stay top of mind and every other realtor has already forgotten gotten about them and now they saw all your videos and now you stood top of mind and you followed up with this part on their feed because everybody is on social media we want to connect with family and friends and you are switching pulling always into their feed and reminding them of buying or selling and that you are the realtor you can assist them. So now that I have that all set, I shoot the videos or I create the pictures. I want to think about the description, your text. And then when that is ready, we are going into Ads Manager and we are creating our touch seven. Oh, I have both up open. Okay, then let's go in here. And we are going into our campaigns. And that's where we are setting up our touch seven. And you are probably thinking about oh, uh, advertising. It is easier than you think. So I do a new campaign and I will do the touch seven follow up. And let me, let's load a little bit. Takes longer when I'm recording. And this is my middle of funnel. And I check mark this because I have already enough going on here. But I want to show you how we do a new campaign. So you would go into your campaign. You are choosing, um, in this case, conversion conversion on your website, if you don't have a conversion, if you don't have a website, if you don't have them to send somewhere, then you want to think about something. And that is where we are using a rich campaign where we are strategically would put every day one video or one, um, um, one follow-up in front of them so but in our case we want to convert them on our website and we are doing this through conversion for a dollar a day yes you heard right we are doing conversion for a dollar a day and here is how we are setting this up so i am creating and that is my Conversion, touch seven, 
And that would be follow up. All right, now I go in here. And I have the follow up on my ad. I am choosing. Oh, no, I have to reopen this. This is my video. That is my video. Yeah, no, I have to, let's create a new one. All right, perfect. So we are going into engagement. Oh, let's go back. I have to create a new campaign. All right, so here we are. We go into engagement. We continue. Always make sure manual engagement. I don't want to give my control away and Facebook will put some hiccups into your campaign setup. I always want to make sure that I label everything, conversion, and I do touch seven, and that is my follow-up, touch seven, follow-up comes later. All right, so here, if you are in special housing, don't worry about check mark your special housing because those are already warm leads you don't have to worry about that you are and you have them already so don't worry about check mark your special housing and there is nothing wrong about it because you are retargeting this is not a new campaign you are retargeting make sure your budget advanced campaign budget is turned off we want to have control and here we are again. All right, it, it goes on my art. I what is oh yeah, sorry about this now. All right. I have engagement here. Actually, I need to make sales or leads. Depends how you want to do it. So let's do sales. Continue. Yeah, I have to switch that. All right. Sorry about this. Usually we are having engagement going for video view. All right. Now we are back. So I want a conversion on my website. And I am maximizing number of conversion. Now I put in the audience or the pixel that I want to pull in. And here we are going to this pixel. That is where the conversion will happen. That is where... I want them to schedule okay they don't have to schedule here then let's go to leads ah, Facebook is always changing something let's go here all right continue let's see if they allow me with leads you see you can switch Around on my website, I want the conversion on an ad block. And I want them to schedule. That is my end goal, that they schedule with me a 20-minute call. All right. And I put in $1 a day. Yes, you heard it right. It is true. $1. You could do $2. It's depending how big your audience is. And now we are going into switching original. Use original. Don't get thrown off. So switch original, 
right now we are doing the original i pull in my custom audience and that is follow up All right now i retarget them make sure that you have turned off reach people all right and you would put pull your custom audience in location depending where your people are i always edit this and i will have worldwide select all and now that is worldwide because you don't know where your buyer or seller come from where they are and i don't care about the age you shouldn't do anything else that is all what we want to do worldwide and i will be the beneficiary that is from facebook and then you go into your art and now you pull in your art whatever you have if it is a video you can manual upload it you can do carousels you can do video and then you pull it in here then let's see um let's do an existing post now you want to turn off your multiple advertiser now you are going in here you can take any post you want you see maybe do this now it's a picture continue i don't want to have it optimized perfect this is just an example so and you can add a button or you just leave it like it is you we recommend because it is a touch up and it's a follow up you can do learn more you could do book a phone call download whatever you want to do so i would do a uh, learn more then put your website in there your website address you copy paste and send them to the page where you want them to take, convert or where you want them to book the phone call. And then you would verify everything, put your text in here, your description. And now you would simply publish the post and you have your first follow-up campaign running. Now you would do this over and over again. You go into the campaign when Facebook now has approved that one campaign, you would copy, pay, uh, copy, duplicate, and then you just go in and you would duplicate. And you would leave everything else because everything is already set up here. And now you are just changing out your art. So you would change post. Let's say we want to do that video. Now we continue. We put our text in here. You see your primary text, you put it in here and then you publish and you have your second campaign and you do that seven times and you have all your campaign set up. If you want to see how we can structure this for you, absolutely, you could go long down below, then schedule a 20-minute call with me, and you will have your campaign structure. We talk about it. We I give you everything what I have available. We can structure it out, and you will walk away with a roadmap how you can set up your campaign your follow-up campaign with or without me it doesn't matter you at least should have a campaign so that you no longer struggle with following up with your leads and if you want to have that list then you want to have our little campaign up here what we just created and you want to follow step by step because that was a little bit confusing or you have 
rather a checklist how you can set up a follow-up campaign for yourself and have a quick win where somebody is raising their hand, then let me know down below and I will send you that checklist step-by-step -step and a little video where I go a little bit deeper through so that you can set it up yourself.